To God be the glory. Uh, you guys, uh, any questions you have, uh, be glad to answer the best I can. Coach, as a, as a coach, how frustrating is, is it to lose games like like Saturday's game? I mean, it has to be really frustrating because you saw the, the real good of your team in the second half and then the real poor team in the first half. How, how frustrating is that as a coach? Inconsistency. You know, that, that's a... Uh, You strive for co consistency, you know, to be able to sustain a high level. But uh, for us, uh, you know, we have to find the consistency. You know, that's been an issue uh, because we have played some really good games, you know, and we've played well within games. I think the, the biggest consistency is uh, the defensive end because the reality of it is uh, we didn't get enough stops uh, in the second half of the Kent State game. We scored enough points for the game. You know, I talked to the guys yesterday, 87 points, 50% shooting, 10 for 22 from three, 20 offensive rebounds, 20-some odd points, second chance points, 30-some points in the paint. I mean, we did enough offensively. Uh, even with uh, the first half, uh, you know, only scoring uh, 27 points. But, you know, if you guard and you get stops, then you always put yourself in a position once you start clicking offensively uh, to win the game. But, you know, if you don't guard and you get in the hole, uh, then you dig out of the hole, uh, you know, you still got to get stops. So, I think the, the, the biggest inconsistency for us has been on the defense of it. Uh, you know, we have to do a better job defending and, uh, you know, for 40 minutes or more and then uh, make the plays uh, down the stretch. But our guys don't quit. They kept playing. And, uh, you know, I, I always say that's how it's supposed to be. You know, I, I shouldn't I, – I compliment you because – I want to encourage you, but at the end of the day, you know, being competitive and playing for 40 or more is, is, should be a way of life. So, uh, but it, 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 as a coach, you, you want consistency. You know, you don't want the inconsistencies that cause you to, you know, uh, be in and out of games or, you know, uh, to be uh, basically to be inconsistent. Coach, talking about that, that inconsistency defensively, are you seeing it as more plays that aren't being made consistently or mistakes? Or it sounds like the effort has been good. Uh, you know what, for the most part, uh, I, I think you have certain principles. And at the end of the day, you, you want to make a miss. And then once you make a miss, you want to get the rebound. Right. You know, And for us, a lot of that is containing dribble penetration, uh, keeping the ball out of the lane, uh, contesting shots, and then once the shot goes up, block it out and the rebound in the ball. So it's uh, uh, you want to take them away from their strengths, whether it's dribble penetration, whether it's post defense, uh, whether it's you know three point shooting, and then you want to make a miss and get the rebound. Uh, but you know we we've gotten you know our, our defense because we are playing man to man and. That's something that we haven't done in a couple of years as much as we're doing it now. Uh, we have we have improved in the areas that we haven't done. You know, we, we're a man to man. We're we're a much better man to man team than we were last year and the year before. So, uh, and we can win games with our man to man defense. So that that's that's a positive. I just think uh, you know we got to do a better job as a team uh, with our team defense. And then individually, uh, we got to do a better job, uh, you know, just guarding the ball. And, and then we have to sustain it, you know, for 40 minutes and, and through uh, our substitutions and, uh, you know, different combinations, you know, we, ha we have to sustain it. So, but offensively, you know, we, we're scoring points and, you know, 
Kent was a prime example, but you give up 92 points on the road, you just playing tag, uh, literally. Uh, but if you stop scoring, you have a slow start like we did, then you put yourself in a hole. With uh, Miami, they probably arguably have one of the top two or three players in the league and the, the big guy inside. Uh, first, uh, will Cam be able to go, or is that still a game time decision? And second, what's the plan against uh, the big man? Um, Cam probably be more of a. I'll, I'll probably know before the game, but uh, right now uh, we, you know, we're allowing him some time to, to rest. Uh, but everything looks good. Everything looks good. So uh, my expectation is that he will play. But you know we'll know more after the day. Uh, as far as uh, Miami and Julian Mavunga, uh, you know he's probably one of the toughest guys to cover, if not the toughest in the league, because of his versatility. You know uh, he hadn't shot as many threes as, as he had in the past, uh, but you know he plays out on the perimeter. Uh, He's a, you know, he's a very good passer, a willing passer, you know, in the post, um, you know, he's a, he's a tough cover down there, a variety of, of uh, post game moves, and uh, he'll go coast to coast with a rebound, you know, uh, he's a good offensive rebound, he's averaging almost a double-double, uh, and he touches the ball, he's constantly in attack mode, he's constantly involved in the game, so that's different than most big guys. You know, they're usually waiting for guys to get them the ball. But a lot of times, he's initiating uh, the plays. You know, not, not running the point, but in a way, yeah, he's making the plays. Most of the time, big guys are recipients of the plays. He's, he's, a lot of times, he's making the plays. So, uh, you know, he's not your prototypical big man. Uh, and he's, very, and he's, he's a competitive guy. You know, he goes hard. Plays 40 minutes a game. You know, uh, the last game he didn't come out, and he, and he, you know, he's just a competitive guy. So uh, you got to play him, uh, you know, really all five of your guys have to be aware of him. And, you know, whether you, you call it a man and a half or you playing with, you know, you, you, you try to just make him feel like he's crowded, you know, as much as you can. And, uh, but you have to be careful because, again, he can pass the ball and he makes plays. So. Uh, you know, you don't want him to beat you, but they won their last game. They beat uh, Buffalo, and he had probably his lowest output of the year, eight points and four rebounds, and they won by one. So, you know, you, you have to pay attention to, to everybody on the court, but he's definitely the guy uh, that you, you, you want to try to uh, contain, without a doubt, because he makes the other guys better, too. Are you thinking of one of your guys in particular that would start against him defensively? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we, if we, uh, you know, uh, depending on who starts, but we'll, we, we'll match up different guys on him, but we, we got to crowd it. You know, we, we got to, we got to kind of just make him see a lot of, I guess, orange. I mean, you got to, you got you to gotta make him kind of be uncomfortable as best you can, you know. Uh, but again, you know, it's not easy because he's a guy that will pass the ball and will make other guys better. So, uh, uh, you know, uh, but we'll, 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 in a man to man, we probably got two or three guys that, that will guard him and then we play our zone and, you know, that's, uh, we'll, 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 you know, we'll deal with him with our middle guy, but everybody will be involved. If we could go back to Cam for just a second, mm -hmm. pardon my ignorance here. What what exactly is his injury? You know what? Uh, it has to do. He just what you want to call it, bothered, discomfort, uh, and and I don't know all the particulars, but uh, uh, his lower leg area, you know, uh, and I, I'm not exactly sure what it is, but. Uh, it bothered him last game, and uh, he asked, you know, he asked to come out, and, and you know, we did the precautionary things, and everything looked good. 
So it's just a matter now of him getting on the court and playing and seeing how it feels. But, uh, you know, I can't, I, you know, what the injury is, how much the injury is, you know. You look at x-rays, x-rays say one thing, but at the end of the day when he gets on the court, he has to be the one to say whether, you know, how it feels and whether he can, it's limited his mobility or if he can play. So, uh, but he's feeling good, he's getting plenty of treatment. We got great training and Chad Young does a great job and very proactive. Uh, so, uh, he gonna, he gonna practice today. So, you know, and we'll have a better feel. Uh, no game time. So did did you take Sunday off then? Yeah, we took Sunday off yesterday? as a team. We you know, uh, and then practice yesterday. Yeah, you, you have to take one day a week off. Uh, NCAA rules, so we took Sunday off. And did Cam practice yesterday then? Or no, no, he he he, he, he watched. He got treatment. He rode the bike. Uh, uh, but uh, you know, you give him rest. And for a big fella like him, another day of rest is is not bad, you know. Regardless, you know, so for him to be able to rest his legs, and I th he's been playing well, been playing really well. And uh, we missed him uh, the last game. I, I thought I, I think he can be a deterrent on some of the uh, aggressive post scores like a Green because he's uh, he's bigger, you know, he got size, and he plays. He's been playing big, so we definitely missed him. But uh, you know, hopefully. Uh, He's, you know, be able to go today, and then we'll see what happens after that. It, it also looked, Coach, and tell me if you agree with this, it looked like he's playing with more confidence, yeah. especially the, the Akron game. It looked like yeah. his confidence no, I, I agree. I think that, that's a big part of it. You know, uh, he's a hard worker. He's a hard worker. Uh, I believe that uh, if you're a hard worker and you're a smart worker, uh, the confidence will come and uh, always – you know, Cam is a very skilled big guy, very skilled, and you know he, he adjusts to the college game. He's playing more in the post than he ever has in his life, like a true post man. Uh, but he's a worker, uh, you know, and his body's gotten in better shape. His agility's better. You know, the offensive part, uh, I think, sometimes is the last thing it come because it's the confidence piece. You know, you got to be physically ready to play, stronger, faster, more mobile. Then you got to learn the schemes that you play in. And then once you do all that, you get comfortable enough to say, all right, this is where I can perform offensively. And I think with Cam, uh, he's trusting his talent more and it's growing and, and, our, and his teammates are trusting it more too. And they're you know, giving him the ball. And that's important, and especially for a big guy. They got to trust that you're going to, uh, they get you the ball, that you're going to catch it and you're going to score. And the more you do that, the more they throw you the ball. Good. All right. Okay. Thanks. Thanks.